Hey you guys, it's Bree. Welcome back to Arco Iris Ranch. I am currently standing in my crazy summer garden and this is what this whole corner is looking like. Pretty wild. So this was the bed that had some tomatoes in it. It had some herbs in it. It just looks like a ginormous mess. There is a walkway down there, believe it or not. This side over here, all the zinnias are completely knocked over and going crazy. It looks like hornworms have stripped all the leaves off of the tomato plants. Those things got really tall this year. And then all the corn and sunflowers in the back are all completely dead. So there is a huge long trellis in the back. I plan on keeping that. But the smaller trellis on the right right here and then that smaller trellis on the left side. I do plan on having my husband take those out completely. So I'm only left with the tall trellis in the back. And then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with all this just yet. I'm going to have to just start and get in there and see where it goes. But I know all the sunflowers, all the corn, all the tomatoes, and then the four tea posts and two little hog panels, all that is definitely coming out for sure. And then we'll just kind of go from there. It feels absolutely amazing outside. I am taking a little bit of a break though. So I kind of hit like a halfway mark. So let me go ahead and show you what all I've gotten done so far. All the sunflowers and all the corn on the back left is all taken care of. The entire trellis is taken out of this bed and all three tomato plants. There was two tomato cages where there was some dill and some flowers. I pulled all that out. And so now all that's left. This is the bee balm, the Sparlatin mix. It has grown really weird and like a vine and I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if that's normal or not. There is a Colorado mix yarrow in here. And then that corner over there is oregano. And I think, yeah, the chamomile died. So just oregano, sparlatin mix, bee balm, and Colorado mix yarrow. And that's it in this bed. And then you see half of the bed in the back. Now, I'm hesitant to go over there and let me show you why. I'm going to be very careful. Let me see if I can get close enough, but safely. I have a garden spider. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's windy, so I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not. But I have a huge garden spider right there. So I am going to try to not ruin her web. I think she's connected to the hog panel, not the plants. So we'll see. So I'm going to be very, very careful. I might have my husband relocate her into another spot in the garden. We'll just see. Baby girl wanted something to do, so I told her all of that oregano and bee balm that's hanging over the edge, I want all of that cut off. So she's going to work on that. And then my son's helping me carry all the sunflowers and the corn. We are getting closer to her. Uh, get the rest of this, hopefully. My plan was for him to move her safely. He said there's babies on her. I don't know if that's... We don't want to hurt you. We just need to move you to a safer location. She's on the edge of that corn tassel. Oh, you almost got her. There you go. Oh no, she got caught on the web. Dang it. I don't want to kill her. I just want to move her. She's good to have in the garden. Nope, she's on the tomato plant now. Well, you guys, this totally isn't working like I had hoped it was going to. Yeah. It's on the ground. 
Can you point her towards the honeysuckle? That did not go as planned. Unfortunately, she's on the ground and she's running. Hopefully she runs to a different spot. I'm having my son watch her to see where she goes. So, she's still alive. Hopefully she re relocates to a safe spot, but now at least we can go ahead and continue the task that we came out here to do. I found her right down there. So I'm um, still a little in the way, but we're gonna try to work around her. It's definitely pretty crazy looking, but I did go ahead and get all of the zinnias and all but one marigold because the spider has decided to go on it. Where did she go? Okay, did she move? I don't see her now. I'm gonna back up, I don't see her. But there was the spider on that one plant right there. But I got everything pulled out and it looks pretty rough. And I know all the dirt is everywhere and all the hose emitters are everywhere. And then there is still a bunch of like weeds and stuff behind that bed. We haven't gotten to that. Right now what we're doing is going through and getting like all of the... Those are mostly hibiscus buds. And we're going to go through and try to just get all the random debris out of the aisles in this area. Got the entire area all nice and cleaned up. I cut some of the plants that were sticking out of the box. Some of them I just folded back in into the bed. Got everything taken out of the back. Got the walkways as cleared up as we can. It's a little tough, there's a lot of stuff. Got both the trellises out and everything. This whole area looks night and day completely different. That's also not the only area that I tackled today. I actually ripped out most of the garden and weeded 75% of it. I didn't do the whole other side. Well, I'm, I'm on the side where the gate is. I didn't touch the other side. But everything inside and on this side of the fence is completely weeded and all cleaned out. All the dead plants are out. So make sure if you're not already, make sure you subscribe so you can see my garden tour. That is gonna be my next video coming out. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.